even were able to deliver 50 illegal aliens to beautiful Martha's Vineyard. And they said they were a sanctuary area. I, I mean, is, what is that? Got, I'm taking a moment because I, I don't want to fall into the trap of saying something. That is, that well, is just gross. He, he, want, he wants to do things like that to shock people. That's right. And I would say, if you're not somewhat offended by, by, by <laughs> having, having refugees coming into a state, having migrants coming into a state, poor, hungry, tired migrants coming lying into a state them. and then lying to them and then putting them onto a plane and flying them out of the state and then bragging about it months later. This is, this is like the, how grotesque it was that you had a governor actually send migrants uh, up to Washington, D.C. and just dump them out on the street outside the Naval Observatory uh, on Christmas Eve, uh, on a cold, cold Christmas Eve, uh, to make a political point on Christmas Eve, one of the most unchristlike things I would think, just if you actually read the New Testament and believe what it says about helping the poor and the needy, uh, to do that for gesturing. You know, we're not talking about policies here. I mean, I'm really conservative when it comes to borders. I'm really conservative about border security. I'm really concerned. You know, if you want to come to America, do it the legal way. That's what I feel like. Okay, great. So that's right here. Over here is basic humanity and the realities that we face as a country where, because we're such an incredible country, because we're such a great country, our problem is not Russia's problem. Our problem is not China's problem. Our problem is everybody wants to come to America. Everyone wants to live the American dream. Everyone wants to be here. That's our problem because we have such a great country. So we've got to figure out how to sort through this. But again, guy running for president who is bragging about being cruel to 50 migrants because... You know, he thinks that he owned the libs of Martha's Vineyard well, when all he really did. Standing ovation. What, right. I know. All he really did was make those libs on Martha's Vineyard feel a little better about themselves, <laughs> be able to help people in need. Um, it's, it's the antithesis of Ronald Reagan's approach, not just on immigration, but on America, believing that yeah. America is a city shining brightly on a hill for all the world to see. And a Ronald Reagan, Eddie Gloud, who at the end of his administration in his farewell dress to Americans said, when we stop letting immigrants into this country, that's the time we become an old withered nation and we become weaker as a nation. Now I know you have so many uh, disagreements with Ronald Reagan's right. policy, which is exactly why I bring it up, because for you, even Ronald Reagan understands the importance of immigrants to this nation's story. And here you have a guy who I'm sure, you know, he talks to at the Reagan's, Reagan Library, and he's actually bragging about being cruel to migrants. It's like, uh, I'm going to be cruel to migrants because... It may own some libs up in Martha's Vineyard. And who knows, if I'm lucky, maybe some people in the press will condemn me for doing this. I, I don't, doesn't upset me. It's not, it's not me that he's impacting. It's not people in the press he's impacting. It's poor migrants and their children. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's bragging all these months later about being cruel to the poorest and the weakest among us, says a lot as you try to look into the soul of Ron DeSantis.